if you have really received Jesus in your life, don't be every believer may not be a pastor. Not listen to this. Not everybody is called to be a pastor. Not everybody is called to be an evangelist. Not everybody is called to be an apostle. Not everybody is called to be a prophet. Not everybody is called to be a teacher. But every believer is called to be a soul winner. Every believer is called to be a soul winner. Proverbs 30. He that winneth a soul is wise. Every believer is called. Do everything to see that the gospel is preached. Do everything. To see that the gospel is preached. Do everything to see that the word of God goes on. Tell somebody about him. He that winneth a soul. Isaiah 61 from verse 1. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. What are you doing with Jesus? Who has heard Jesus from your lips? Your post. That you post your status. Nothing. You have eight slides. Slide one, slide two, slide. There is nothing about Jesus there. The first slide, you are like this. Second slide. Third slide. Fourth slide. Different slide. Fifth slide. That's how you bend your, bend your head like improper fraction. Uh. When people read your slide, nothing like Jesus loves you. They can't know you are a Christian because you know you don't want to, you don't want your friends to see you as a fanatic. You don't want them to say ah, these church, church people. So you want to be on the side of positive reasoning. You want to be you want to be, be on the correct. They say, no, no. Before they will see me as a church person. Before, but when they are advertising their occultism, they don't hide it. When they are advertising their evil, they don't hide it. somebody let your finance i told you the other time we we're going to preach in in, in latin in a country in latin america and i asked them what are their halls 50 people can take 100 people can take 200 people can take 400 people i said what that's all they say yes as we go what's the biggest capacity is there a church they say yeah the biggest church around there can take a thousand people i said but we're expecting a crowd of over ten thousand because of what god has shown us they say, Apostle, there is nothing like that. No space. Except a stadium that was abandoned. For 10 years, they have not touched the stadium. For 10 years, they have not used the stadium. For 10 years, nobody has assessed that stadium. Because the stadium is dilapidated. The stadium is bad. The stadium is broken down. The stadium is down for 10 years. And I spoke to one of our pastors. I said, we're going to send money. We'll repair that stadium. He says, I don't understand. For a two-day program, you want to repair a stadium? I said, that crusade matters to me than the whole world. I don't care what I put into saving souls. And we fix the stadium. A whole stadium. For a state in Latin America. We fix the stadium. Put the lightings there. That's the stadium on the screen. We fix the stadium. Put the light. Can you make it brighter? This is too dark. We fix the stadium. Put light and everything. Fed people. We fed children. Over 700 children. Fed them. Did a lot we could do for them. When we are done, we left. Now, I know somebody's going to say, eh, 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 what about the offering? Okay, let me now talk. Maybe we should talk. What we spent is in tens and tens and tens of thousands of dollars. I'm saying tens. I have my reasons because I'm on air. The offering for the first service was $2,300. $300, $2,000 was given to somebody. $300 was given to the other. So there was no dime. You know, people have this mentality. As they see this crowd here, they have already calculated per head. <laughs> see, if everybody like this just... Ah! He! No, they have that consciousness. That's why they attack pastors. I keep telling people, you say this thing is so lucrative. Come now. As I'm in this church now, there are people who are in this church who are already waiting to line up at my office. Every Sunday. People who are wondering why I attack bad governance. It's a burden on me. Every Sunday. Rent, feeding, school fees. They are in this church now. As I'm preaching, they won't write to. Let heaven fall. They won't say, they're just waiting. 
Papa, you wait it time. You wait it time. You wait it time. Papa, you wait it time. The part they love in the service. Prophecy? No. What? No. The part of the service they love. My head is a good head. Say, hey, we are closing. So it's not what you hear is not true. Let me tell you how pastors get blessed. Should I tell you? Many of them who are wise enough to have investment and business, but the, the major key that blesses pastor is people they have raised. If I stood by you, I paid your school fees, I paid your rent, I did all that, and now God has blessed you. Of course, you remember that this man treated me in school, this man support. Of course, that's that's the key. That's all. That's there's nothing else. It's not this five five naira and all that. That drum. It's not it. That's not it. It is how there are some people in this place that are God change their story tomorrow. They must remember me. Because the role I'm playing in their life, their biological father could not. 